What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the area of the shaded region, and I'm specifically going to cover a few examples with circles and semicircles and arcs. All right, so let's start with this first problem on the left. So as you can see, this shape looks like it's a square, right? It does give us one dimension. It gives us six meters down here. So we can assume that the rest of the lengths are also six meters. The other thing is you can see that we have two semicircles that are cut out here, right? So how would we find the area of the shaded region, the purple region? Well, the way I like to always envision these is you always want to find the total area of the shape first. So like we said, this is a square. So let's pretend that nothing is cut out. Let's pretend these are filled in, all right? So I'm going to try and kind of fill it in the best I can, all right? So what's the total area here? Well, like I said, we can assume that it's a square. So if this is six meters, we can assume, you know, this is six meters, right? So the total area would just be six times six, which is equal to 36. So the total area is equal to 36 meters squared, all right? Now, obviously this is not all filled in. We do have these two semicircles that are cut out, that they're missing, right? So we have to subtract out those areas, right? So we have to find the areas of these two semicircles. But a semicircle is the same thing as just half a circle, right? So if we have half a circle here and half a circle here, well, half a circle plus half a circle is just equal to one full circle. Okay, so to find the area, you always, like I said, start with the total area. And then here we could subtract half a circle and then subtract another half a circle. But like I said, half plus a half is equal to one whole circle. So all we have to do here is take the total area and then just subtract the area of one full circle, all right? So what would be the area of this circle? Well, the area of any circle is equal to pi r squared, where r is the radius, right? So what's the radius of this circle? Well, if this whole length, this whole height is six meters, the radius is just from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle, right? So if the whole thing is six, that means this is three, okay? So if the radius is equal to three meters, that means the area is equal to pi times three squared. So three squared is equal to nine. So here we just have pi times nine, or in other words, the area is equal to nine pi. Now, if you plug this into your calculator, you'll get that this is approximately 28 point two seven. Okay, so again, the total area was 36 meters squared. And now we're going to subtract the circle, right, the two half circles, which again is 28.27. And that's equal to approximately 7.73 meters squared, right? So that's the area of this purple shaded region. All right, cool. Now let's jump to the next one. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit to make a little extra room here. All right, so here you can see we have basically a semicircle, and then we have a smaller semicircle cut out on the left side over here, right? So again, the way you want to think about it is just find the total area first. So ignore the cutout spot right here, right? We could just fill it in. So what's the area of this semicircle? Well, again, the area of a full circle is equal to pi r squared, and here the area would be equal to pi times the radius, which in this case is four centimeters. So we'll plug in a four right there. So four squared and four squared is equal to 16. So the area is equal to 16 pi, but that's the area for a full circle. Here we just have a semicircle, right? Half a circle. So what's half of 16 pi? Well, that would be eight pi. Okay. so. The area of the semicircle is 8 pi, right? That's the total area. But again, we do have this cutout, which is also a semicircle. So what's the area of this cutout? So that area is, again, uh, you can think of just a circle, so pi r squared. And again, we don't have a full circle here, right? We don't have a full circle like that. It's just a semicircle, half a circle, right? So if you want, you could rewrite the area of a semicircle as the area is equal to one half pi r squared. All right, so this is for a semicircle. 
So what is the area of this semicircle? Well, the area would be equal to 1 half times pi times the radius in this case would be, well, if the full thing is 4 centimeters, the radius would just be 2 centimeters, right? So that's going to be 2 and it's squared. 2 squared is equal to 4. So 4 times 1 half or half of 4 is equal to 2. So the area of this empty space, the semicircle, is equal to 2 pi. Okay, so again, the full area, if that was filled in, is this guy right here. The total area is equal to uh, 8 pi. And the area of this little semicircle right here is 2 pi. So to get the shaded region in yellow, you would just take the total and subtract out this little one, right? So we would do 8 pi minus 2 pi, which is equal to 6 pi. And if you plug that into your calculator, you'll get that this is approximately equal to 18.85 and our units are centimeters, right? So centimeters squared, right? So that's the area of the shaded region. All right, cool. So now we can do this last problem right here on the right. All right, so for this last one, again, you always want to start with the same spot. Just find the total area, all right? So let's pretend this sliver over here is just filled in, all right? So what is the total area of this circle? So the total area, or the area of any circle, again, is equal to pi r squared. So what's the radius of this circle? Well, it tells us right here, and sorry, I covered it a little bit, but the radius right here is 16 inches, right? So then the area of the full circle, and I'll just say, actually, let's write it like this, the area of the circle is equal to pi times 16 squared. Now, 16 squared is equal to 256, so the area of the circle is equal to 256 pi. All right, cool. So we know the total area. Now we need to figure out what the area is right in here. So one thing that we can do to kind of clarify that is what if I extend these lines, all right? So what if I extended this line over here and this line over here. So you can see that now we've split up our circle into four even pieces, right? It's like we have four slices of pi. So how much area is in each slice? Well, there's four even pieces, right? We know the total is 256 pi, so we would just do the total and I'll write it over here, 256 divided by four even pieces is equal to 64. All right, so one slice of our circle over here, so we can say one slice is equal to 64 pi. Okay, now how many full slices do we have? Well, we have one, two, three full slices, right? So if one pi or one slice is 64 pi, how many full slices do we have? Well, we just do 64 pi times three. And that's equal to 192 pi, okay? Now, this fourth slice, we don't have a full slice here, right? But one convenient thing that we do have here is a triangle. So we have this triangle right here, right? And it's a right triangle. So the area of a triangle, and we can write it over here, the area of a triangle is equal to one half the base times the height. So the base is 16 inches and the height, or in other words, uh, this radius is 16 inches and this radius is 16 inches, right? So the base is 16 inches and the height is 16 inches. So the area of this triangle is equal to 1 half 16 times 16. And that's equal to 128. And our units are inches squared. Cool. So again, we know the area of these three full slices, right? It's 192 pi. And if you multiply that out, you can put it in your calculator, you'll get that this is approximately 603.19. Okay, so that's the area of our three slices. And then the area of this triangle is 128. So then we can just add those together. So plus 128. And we can get a grand total of, I'll say approximately and I'll just write it above it, 731.19. Don't forget your units, inches squared. Boom. 
So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.